post-war Britain saw a boom in tower block construction, but are they still a suitable social housing solution? What challenges do they present for registered providers? The Axona Bell leading a specification panel discusses. There are different views about whether people like multi-storey living, whether housing managers like managing uh, multi-storey accommodation, whether it's more costly in a maintenance sense, and how to organise and process um, ongoing um, regeneration and maintenance works. And of course there are examples up and down the country where tower blocks have been pulled down. Um, so what's the future for the tower block? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing intrinsically wrong with high-rise living. I mean, it's a very efficient way of living. If, mm. if you've got uh, overlapping lifestyles and you've got good security, good allocations policy, and it's clean and tidy, it's a question really about who you put in there and lifestyles and and basically put people in who can who pay the rent and, and, and get around that way. But it's, again, it's about management, allocations, security, and trying to foster some sort of community. Yeah. And I think creating the environment that, that people want to live in as well. I, I, several years ago, worked on um, it was about three or four storey blocks, but they were all magnolia. They were they were all one thing. They were gloss painted walls. They looked like institutions. Yeah. Um, you know, okay, great for maintenance because it was gloss hard gloss paint walls, but actually to live there, it looked terrible. And people were therefore either was a lot of vandalism. The people actually wanted to damage it because it looked terrible. And we worked with an architects department with a local uh, with a local authority. They changed it. They changed the outside. They used some primary colours and some some brighter colours. Um, flower planters, changed the internal, and and suddenly you saw the the community that were there changing how they worked. Yeah, and one of the one of the issues that tower blocks are just very difficult to maintain. It also comes down to procurement as well, and knowing what the issues are and identifying them early enough. Because when a, if you appoint a, a contractor to undertake that sort of block, if you don't give them all the information, they'll underprice it, then they won't do you a good job either. And I mean, the majority of them are going to be 40, 50 years old, something like that. Mm. Um, so thinking about the, you know, the cycles of maintenance and painting and so forth, Andy, <coughs> what particular challenges do you come across in tower blocks? The, internally, um, that's certainly a challenge, uh, where you've got people that actually want to still get to their flat or, or go up and down the staircases, having products that are going to dry quickly enough. Also reducing smell, you know, with water-based water -based technologies instead of solvent-based. Solvent-based products are obviously very tough, but there are now water-based products that will do the same sort of thing. So getting the right specification, um, I think, is, is, is crucial. And that almost links into the external, um, of understanding what the maintenance requirements are for the external. Often the access, scaffolding costs and everything else far outweighs any of the contracting costs. So getting the systems on that are going to give the durability at the right level is, is absolutely key because otherwise you back up there. I think uh, you know basically the views are that um, certainly with city living and a um, number of different tenures um, high-rise blocks have a lot to offer if they're managed well um, I think particularly if there's a sense of community and understanding built up in terms of both of who lives there and in terms of how the total building functions uh, and works. So thinking ahead in terms of a very strategic approach to asset management, you can overcome um, these issues and um, through planning, specification and programming, um, reduce the costs, although I think we have to accept that the costs are likely to be higher uh, in the first place, um, but definitely a call for pre-planning and thinking ahead in the management overall. The event led to spirited debate between the expert panel members. Check out the other topics up for discussion in the Leading and Specification video series on the Dulux Trade YouTube channel.